Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about Spring Data Support in Spring Framework. I'm going to talk about JP Repository, how to use, and I'm going to save a data using JP Repository. So, first goal I just want to mention about Spring Data is to avoid boiler plate code in the DAO layer, data access layer. Just want to be, we want to avoid the boilerplate code. So I just want to show you an example how a boilerplate code looks like. So in order to extract a data from the database or if you want to persist a data into the database, we used to write a lot of code like this previously before using Spring Framework. But now you don't have to write all these boilerplate code. We can avoid this using Spring Data. So, so this is one of the important goal of Spring Data. I have my uh, model class. I'm going to show you an example how can I persist this hotel object in the database using Spring Data Support that is JPA repository. So this is my hotel method and some attributes are there and hotel table is already created and about Spring configuration there are two important annotations that you should remember enable JPA repositories enable transaction management these are the two annotations which will inform the spring framework to enable the JPA features in spring application and here I have given this component scan so that all my beans will be scanned by the spring framework and registered as a bean in the spring container and data source details and entity manager details here I just want to show you repository class so this is my hotel repository. I've created an interface and I've done a very simple thing extending from the JP repository. That's all I've done. And I've given the entity that I'm going to deal with and the identifier type. So this is what I've done so far just to create, just to save a hotel object in the database. In the service IMPL, the service class, I'm trying to auto wire it, my repository. So you can ask me where is the the interface is available, where is my IMPL for this repository? Who is going to write all the implementations for methods available in this repository? The Spring Framework is going to generate the code for all the methods. What are the methods? I just want to show you. So this is my repository class and these are the methods, basic methods which is used to persist and retrieve and delete the records from this database. So who is going to write all the code, generate the code? Spring Framework is going to generate the code. So my job is to just to extend from the JP repository. That's all I've done. And I'm just auto-wiring in my service layer. I'm, I started using the so same for the same method. I didn't write any code. The code is written by or generated by the Spring Framework. So this is what the advantage of uh, Spring Data. It's very handy. It's very ready-made. The code is ready-made. I'm going to run this program now so that you can see how exactly it is saving the value the hotel object in the database so the container is coming up now and I'm going to create a hotel object and I'm going to save in the IMPL layer service layer service IMPL, IMPL layer ok now I'm going to create my hotel object I'm going to set attributes and I'm going to call my service class that is create hotel ok here if you see I have transactional annotation this is another annotation which is helpful for beginning the transaction and the committing the transaction so we don't have to worry about being uh, the, the transaction management so this will be taken care of by the spring framework again so I've just called the hotel and I'm uh, create hotel method and I'm passing the hotel object here I'm using the repository if you see here it's a proxy object that is injected in the repository so I didn't write the service I didn't write the IMPL class for this interface spring has generated and it is auto wired okay here I'm going to call this save method after save method is called I'm going to show you in the 
scrapbook I'm going to execute this query and I'm going to show you one row inserted in the database table using JPA repository it's very simple actually speaking it's very simple if you compare with the traditional way of writing the code to persist a row in the database table it's very simple I've just extended from the JPA repository and spring has generated a lot of code for us and I'll be explaining the query annotations and named query how we can use uh, the method name to generate the SQL query codes using spring data so I've just explained to you how to save an entity object using JPA repository hope this video is useful if you can give me feedback it will be really good thank you and all the best